All right, today I'm fishing with a carp bait that several of you have recommended to me. Here is how I made it. Cream style corn, drained whole kernel corn, add some Wheaties. I don't know exact measurement, so I'm just gonna put it in here and mix it until it comes together good. Probably crushing it up is a good idea. I'm gonna add some fake honey to it to sweeten it up and help bind it together a little bit better. Makes it a little bit more sticky. I'm gonna put it in little containers and leave it in the fridge overnight and then use it. Now I've already been fishing with this bait and my camera gave me all kinds of problems. Nothing was in focus. It was a setting that I had messed up on. I caught two nice carp and what I think was a buffalo, which is in this quick clip. All right, got a buffalo. This is a buffalo carp. There's a lot of them in this body of water. Now I'm at my favorite carp spot where I caught a 50 pound grass carp at and a lot of other bigger carp. So hopefully I'll be able to land a big one today. I'm going to get this on my spring and get it in the water. And when I say spring, that spring. I also have a new reel that I'll talk about later. Full disclosure, Akuma sent me this reel. Here's what the completed bait looks like. There's the bait. Something's playing with it. They don't have too much room to swim here. <laughs> he jumped out of the water. Little one. Nice little carp. This is about the size of the other two that I caught at the dam. I wish I had some better lighting, but it's a nice fish. My bait is working. Now I'm going to release them. Oh, cool. Grow up. I'm going to get more bait on this and see if I can catch another one, maybe a bigger one. All right, another ball of bait. 
Hopefully I catch another one before the sun goes down. Wasn't hooked. And I just emptied my bait. That had to have been a bigger fish. Picked this big glob up and ran with it. And I'm getting dirty again. I forgot a towel to wipe my hands. I'm trying to wash my hands off in this water without falling in because it's a pretty steep bank here. Get to feel the water and it's really cold. I'd say this is 40 degree water, maybe 50 degrees. So it's nice to know that the carp are biting even in this cold water. That's them again. At this rate, I'm going to run out of bait. All right, I'm going to try putting a ball of bait on the hook. Maybe they'll grab the hook first. Got off. I was resetting the camera to do a closing. I hadn't gotten a bite in about, I don't know, 20 minutes and starting to lose light, sun's going down. So before I close the video, I'm gonna show you guys this reel that Akuma gave me. This is the new styled Akuma Avenger. This reel is the ABF 8000 which is about the size of the old ABF 55. They changed the naming scheme of their reels to be more in line with other manufacturers. So if you want a really big shark reel, it's gonna be like the ABF 12,000. I don't know if they have that out yet or not. From what Akuma says, it's the same internals as the other Avengers, so it's a pretty good reel for the price, which they're still pretty cheap. Now externally, they've actually changed it around a little bit. They've made it a little bit more low profile. And they added that cyclonic rotor, which is not a gimmick. I have other reels with that cyclonic rotor. And whenever I'm skipjack fishing with them, like my Seamars or my Akuma Inspira, which had the same technology in it, water is being slung everywhere. So it's pulling water off the line and off the spool. That gives you a little bit of a real world example of this new cyclonic rotor system thingamabobber. And I think this reel fits this seven and a half foot Akuma record chaser pretty good. This record chaser is a medium heavy rod and it's considered a catfish and alligator gar rod. And it's been doing good for carp as well. The only downside is it doesn't have a hook holder on it. You have to use the mounting of the eye to hold the hook. I still have bait left, so I'm definitely going to take that out and fish with it again another day. Maybe I'll go back to the dam where I caught that buffalo that I showed you guys earlier today. But I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. And be sure to hit that thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you again for watching.